everybody, it's me, Carrie Zina Cheetah, here with more of the Cat Lady. Um, I just took a small break and ate a sandwich, so I'm feeling a little bit better because before I hadn't eaten anything. It's like three in the afternoon and I didn't eat anything yet today. Oops. Anyway, let's get this started. All right. Guess all we can do is leave. Cat grabber. That's what they use for catching cats. I thought these grabbers were banned some time ago. Strange noise is coming from the other side of the door. Let's sneak in. It's an empty bucket. Look at Gunlocker. Collecting guns must be his little passion. If only I could reach one of them. But they're all right next to him. He'd wake up for sure. Um, he's fast asleep. Maybe he's drunk or on drugs. Maybe both. Uh, regardless of that, I have no chance in a fight with this guy. He's fast and strong and insane. But he's not the sharpest tool in the box. I will have to use my wits to get rid of him. Must be his private room. He sits here all day playing with his guns while ugly Betty upstairs cooks his food. What a charming couple. There's a cold draft coming through the broken window. Alright. I like how she's backing up, like, nope. Alright, let's climb the stairs. They don't make them like this anymore. Um, it's old, like everything in this house, there are cobwebs and dust all over it. I'm not gonna sit on it. All I see is fog, can never find my way home. Nice lamp. Nothing happens, needs a new light bulb. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that makes me extremely uncomfortable. Oh, I... Can I just say no? Can I just say nope? Just nope, 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 nope. No, nope. <sighs> Too hot, I can't touch it. Can't find a switch, apparently. Small window. This is where the draft is coming through. Search back of van. Almost glad I was unconscious when he brought me here. Through the window I can see there's animal mess and blood everywhere. But the back door is locked. I wonder if I can find a spare key anywhere? Locked. Okay. It's an old grandfather clock. Looks like it's still working. Yeah, as if there's gonna be a hidden passage inside. I'll leave it for someone else to discover. I'm in enough trouble already. Very funny, Susan. Too hot. Okay. Examine the bottles. Empty wine bottles. They like a drink. There's nothing like a bottle of red with your medium rare cat steak. Ugh. Cooker. Um, where she cooks. Dirty pants, still a stink of old cat stew. That's lovely. Knives terribly blunt. Might as well take one, though. 
Might be able to sharpen it. Slimy. Blood smeared all over it. Let's open it. Door stuck, but maybe that's better. True. <coughs> okay. Well, let's take the painting. Oh, she's moving on her own steam. Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. Yeah. I'll this reminds me of something. What? Oh, the solution to the, the gas. The thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. Oh boy. I was right, we are gonna have to make that solution, aren't we? What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. Uh-oh. We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but... There is no way I'm going out in this fog. Alright, have fun. Fine. I'll go on my own then. I'm guessing that's what happened. Well, nowhere to go but the staircase. Communal mailbox. No mail for me. Oh. Okay. Let me guess. Pest control, right? Oh dear. Bloody fog. Can't see a thing. Someone could be getting murdered two feet away, and not a soul would notice. That's not a good thing to say to a person, you know? But still, it could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? True, now get away from me. Always look on the right side, they say, and I always do. Not a talkative type, are you? No. Nope. What's your name, sweetheart? No. Susan. Might as well. That's a lovely name. I like it. You see, I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. And apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. A crazy cat lady called Susan, I was told. Shit. Now, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart, but I'm taking you for a ride. No, you aren't. Oh. So that's what happened. Stupid brute. Probably a nice tea towel once a long time ago. Uh, take it. Oh, Jiminy. Oh. Psst. Oh, 
closer. Oh. Ah. I got it. Black Dragon Pest Control Services. Should I peek in. Oh! Piles of meat, could it be human too? Probably. I could probably find something useful on those shelves, but first I need her to go away. Let's leave. Ugh. 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 Okay. I really don't like that walking. Don't need to hide at the moment. But it's good that we know that we can hide. You know? It's a good it's a good option. It's a great option. Um Alright, I guess I'm gonna go upstairs. My bedroom's up there. Oh. Alright. Uh, cellar door, let's go into the cellar. Alright, there's nothing down here. Fantastic. Is there anything locked? I know there's nothing. Oh, the derp! The back door of the van. Herp a derp. Forgot about that. Really wish there was a run button, but I think I mentioned before it would probably ruin a lot of the pacing. But you know. Yay! Search back of the van. Jesus, what a horrible stench. But what's this? It seems that this idiot ha does everything his creepy waifu from hell tells him to. He brought his gas mask here. I'll take it. He won't need it ever again when I'm done here. Now I just need that other thing. So. Mmm. need to find a switch. I wonder... Well, let's try sitting. No time for that. That's right, Susan. That reminds me of, um... It's a game called free ice cream, which I kind of want to let's play. I think it's one of those flash games online though, so I'm gonna have to just mess with wraps, or not even that, I could probably use um, X-Split, but I don't know. They won't even let me go up them. Oh, I, I can use the cloth! Wait! Yay! Okay, that makes a lot more sense. <coughs> okay. That works. I thought I was going to have to do something with the cloth with the chemical solution. But thankfully, no. Just to get the light bulbs.
I really wish that I had a, uh... Well, the books look like they haven't been touched for a long time. Maybe they've been left here by previous owners. Is that an old phone book? That could be useful, but I'm not sure whose number to look for. It's not like I have any friends that I could call for help. It's from ten years ago, so... Don't know what to look for. I don't know. There we go. Old phone, looks like it's still working. There's a sticker with a number on the base. Let's go look it up. Well, let me go up the stairs, so... Let's call. Oh no. No, no, no. Damn it. I can't remember my own number. I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever oh. use it. Find Susan's number. Here, let's call police first. Police emergency line, how can I help you? My name is Susan Ashworth. I've been kidnapped. These people are crazy! They're going to eat me alive! I don't know what to do. Please, you've got to help me. Please. What's your home address and postcode, ma'am? What? It's irrelevant. I've been kidnapped. I'm not there. I'm afraid I need your home address to confirm your identity, Miss Ashworth. It's flat 412 Helen Street, EX4422DL. Okay? Now please, do something, for God's sake! Calm down, Mom. Who's kidnapped you? I don't know who they are. They didn't tell me their names. Seriously? No, but wait. He's an animal control guy. Drives a white van. He's got a wife. She poured bleach down my face. Bitch. They're... they're just mad. Won't stop at nothing. I'd run away, but there's this fog, and I have no idea where we are. You have been kidnapped by a married couple, is that correct? Yeah. No, not just any married couple. Don't you understand what I'm saying? These people are fucking serial killers. There's blood and bones everywhere. I mean, some of it is cat's blood. But there's human blood, too. I told you, they eat stray cats and dogs, and they eat people. They're sick. They make me sick. Is this a case of family disturbance, Mom? What? What? No. Who? What? Did you know this married couple prior to the incident? Are you related? Jesus, did I say anything at all that would make you think that calm down please i'm Seriously? only trying to help you mom you're not i need to establish some facts first before a police car can be dispatched what look just track this number and you'll find where what i am what bullshit is this you can do that, yeah they always do it on films i bet you've got my number displayed on the screen already just do me a favor and send a police car, will you? Of course, Mom. Stay on the line. Uh, did you witness cruelty to animals? What? You mentioned cat's blood. Was this married couple cruel to animals? If so, I will put you through to animal welfare services for this area. Would you prefer that, Mom? Are you joking? What? No, I would not. Okay, please hold the line. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? They're gonna walk in on me any moment. Hello? 
Miss Ashworth, uh, are you still there? Yes! Yes, of course, I'm still here. According to our records, you've recently discharged oh, yourself no. from the hospital. Oh, fuck. Are you currently undergoing treatment for any mental health problems? Are you serious? No, it's not like Are that. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Are you serious? What the fuck? Miss Ashworth, please listen to me very carefully. Oh, my God. I can connect you with the on-duty doctor at the RCW Hospital's mental health oh nurse where God. you received care recently. They can help you. You just have to talk to them and explain what's on your mind. I'm not fucking crazy. Are you serious? So, that's it? Are you serious? You're just not going to help me. Oh my God. We are not qualified to provide psychiatric help, ma'am. It's best if you contact your doctors. I don't need Would psychiatric help. Would you like help? me to give you their number in case you'd prefer to call them yourself? Oh, don't bother. I'll take care of it myself. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Asshole. Fucking asshole. Oh my god, what a fucking asshole. I'm sorry, that just pisses me off. It's like, hey, by the way, I've been kidnapped. Oh, but you've been to the psych ward recently, so... Have fun! Click. Like, what the shit? Oh, man. So, basically, we're kind of fucked. And then, if they do come here, they're gonna be like, oh! Well. And I forgot to look up here. Loose bricks. What's over here? Okay. Never mind. Can't go that way. Loose bricks. Let's pull one out. Oh, she needs something different. Let's see. Oh, well, let's use the blunt knife. It's the best thing we have for it. Okay, so now we have a brick. So... Uh... Is there anything in the front of this car? Door's locked. He left a phone. Um... mobile phone. Let's examine it. Oh, good. All right. So I'm gonna go and try to call Susan's flat next. Because what else am I gonna do? I probably won't be able to make it get incoming calls. Come on, Mitzi. Answer the phone. Thank God. Finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Miss Ashworth? I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? Things happen, okay? I to check on the cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. 
Listen to me. Um, this guy is a fucking murderer. He's nothing but a parasite. No one will miss him. Trust me. The police won't be coming to rescue me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I... but... <sighs> What's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me! Now! Okay, fine. I'll tell you. Thank you. It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Pesticide, eh? Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. Yeah. It's for people who own houses. Or, like, mansions. You can pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Fine. Yeah. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Yeah. Right. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. And a gas mask. Got it? Yep. Thanks. Alright. Um. Do you have to call the police? Yes, of course. I will, Miss Ashworth. But, wait. What should I tell them? Do you know where you are? No. No idea. Out of town? Somewhere? Have you tried talking to the police yourself? Yeah. They think I'm nuts. Shit. Yeah. What are you going to do then? I'm going to take care of it myself. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. I heard someone say once. Oh god. I wish I could do something. Anything. Just call them and say that I've gone missing. Maybe they'll put two and two together and actually take Michael seriously at last. Probably not. They're probably just going to be assholes. Um, thanks. Okay. Thanks. Wish me luck. Be careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. This will be like a walk in the park. Alright. And since we have... Like... Alright. So there's a number there, and I'm guessing that's probably the number for that phone. Um... And I'm guessing if we call it, they're going to be drawn over there. So... Maybe that's how we can get that old lady. Ooh. Okay, let me... Let me just get to the dining room. Make a call. Yep, I knew it. Awesome. Oh, I forgot to set the timer. Oops. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode here because I've been recording for probably a while. Um, this has been Karazina Cheetah with the Cat Lady. I hope that you've enjoyed it and that you'll stick around for more. Bye!